Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here with me. We are going to be looking in this tarot reading, we're going to be looking at what is destined for you. So we'll see what is destined in your lifetime, what is your soul's purpose, what are you destined for here. Um, so it can be in relation to anything Leo. Um, and it is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video and also to subscribe to the channel um, if you wanted to get updates for your sign or your element as well. So for private readings, please feel free to reach out directly. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up. For the sign of Leo, what is your destiny? What is in your destiny, Leo? Okay, so strong, powerful aces are coming up in your reading here. So um, especially this ace of cups, there's definitely a destined water sign here for you or potentially a destined Virgo here as well. So some of you may be ending up with one of these signs. Um, I also feel like with the Page of Swords looking back, Leo, I am led to believe that you are destined for something that you have had in your past before. Now, it could be a person, a connection, uh, a childhood dream. It could be something you once had um, that's coming up here that you're sort of, because uh, I see you looking back. So I feel like you're destined to return to something here or return to a person or a connection. You're destined for these, um, these sorts of things. Okay, so strong earth energy, especially with that Virgo coming in. Um, okay, I, I get like an entrepreneur kind of energy because I'm seeing a lot of money uh, and I'm seeing the, the emperor is here. He's, he's reversed, but I feel like with the five of ones, um, you're not destined to be a part of a collaborative project here, Leo. I feel like you're destined to shine on your own. And I'm seeing this independent energy. So if you've ever thought about being your own boss or having your own business or creating a name or a legacy for yourself, I feel like it is very much in your destiny to do so. And it's going to be something you're very passionate about. I'm getting a sense that it's almost like with the five of pentacles here, it's almost like you're destined to change your life, your, your finances, your ambition, your money and success. So I'm getting a strong energy that like, it could be something you've wanted to do in the past or something that needs money. Like, you might want to go into the fame game and you need to pay to sign up to agencies or go to auditions or whatever it is. It's almost like you're going to have to invest a lot of your money, but it's destined for you and it's destined to make you happy, especially with money. You've got that nine of pentacles and I feel like you're going to be very fulfilled. You're destined to be fulfilled. Uh, and I feel like a lot of you are destined to work from home here as well. Ace of Cups is like your cup is overflowing. That's so beautiful, Leo. I feel like that's testament to show you could be very happy where you're at career-wise. Um, I also feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, there's, there's a home in the background. So I feel for a lot of you, um, this is a home, like a stable home that's coming up. So if you've never had that growing up or it has been issues or you want kids and children and that white picket fence and you know that that husband to come home to that wife that partner to come home to that loves you the nine is a number of fulfillment so you are going to get it it's not going to be an easy task um, but I feel like you're destined to create a beautiful family home for yourself um, not only for yourself but your loved ones here as well um I feel like there's also a very pivotal point in your life that's going to sort of it's going to really change you. It's presenting itself as the five of pentacles and it could be around an earth sign or maybe around money or how you see yourself, but it's like, there's going to be a really big challenge, um, that's going to come up in your life, but this is going to make you bigger and better and stronger than ever. It's almost like reclaiming your life. So you're going to be on the verge of something here. And for a lot of you, this is going to spiral for you and you may find yourself in, in, in despair and not really knowing where to go or what direction to take. But honestly speaking, what I think it's coming down to is that 
there's a massive event that's going to change your life um, in a very powerful way. Okay, it's got, it's, it's going to change your life in a lot of different areas is what I'm seeing with that five and you're going to pick yourself up. Um, but you're not going to understand it whilst you're going through it with that two of swords. I'm also seeing that there is, I don't know if this is like a knocking back or a rejection. Um, you're going to be rejected from something you think you want, but it's going to redirect you to that ace of cups. They're connected. They're in the same column. So this could be like a person blocking you and you're like, well, like, what the hell? I want to be with them. I love them. I, I want this. And then you get that Ace of Cups, which is that beautiful destined love. Um, or it could be like you get a rejection from a job that you really wanted, but really God or spirit is preparing you for something that you're actually destined for with the Ace of Cups. So you have to trust that there may be a rejection, but we can call it a redirection. But I keep getting this past that's coming back up here and I feel like it's in your future. So you might want to, you know, do something, become something when you were younger. Maybe you wanted to go to school. Maybe you wanted to join the police force. You wanted to be in the beauty industry. Uh, you wanted to come out earlier. Or you wanted this ideal life. And it was always like this thought that was in, within you. Um, and then suddenly it's like it's going to keep it, it's going to keep coming back up in your life. And there's a reason why it's because that path is destined here for you. It really is. And again, this this independence, this theme of independence is really coming forward. So you might be destined to break apart from certain social groups, from certain status, from certain conventions. And you might be a real trendsetter here. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you in this lifetime are like inventing something or starting a trend or a new way of doing something here. Uh, and it's going to make you very happy. And I feel like it's destined to be a part of your life and in and, and your life course. So, and I feel like you're destined to live a very eventful life. I'm seeing a lot of events taking place in your life. It's almost like it's a roller coaster, but you're going to make the most of it. You're going to get the best out of it here, um, Leo. So that's, that's really lovely to see. I think you're very deserving of it. But I would definitely say pay attention to what's been in your past before because it's going to come back around in your future. And there's a very beautiful spiritual reason as to why. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'll wrap it up. Thank you, Leo, for tuning in. Don't forget to like um, and also subscribe to the channel to hit the bell notification button. Feel free to sign up for channel membership if you wanted to get access to member-only content and extended readings each month. Um, otherwise, for private readings, you know where to find me. So thank you again, everyone, so, so much for all your support. And um, hopefully you'll tune in again. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.